Okay, Ford Ranger map sensor or barometric sensor or boost pressure sensor, all the same sensor. You can see the state of this thing. This is a common fault and what they do is they fill up the intake manifolds with carbon. You can see even our hole there is all blocked up. So this is the codes that we are getting. Uh, the top one here uh, is a bit of a concern because it's a sensor circuit low input. Um, again, all these sensors are the same sensor. Um, these other two are range and performance, which I think is to do with it being blocked up. Okay, so where it is located, it is in the top of the inlet manifold. And um, you can see it right here, there's the plug. We just need to remove this plate to gain access to the bolt for the sensor itself, and it's quite easy to take out. Okay, so ideally the manifold really needs to come off and be cleaned out properly, but temporarily um, we can just make sure that the hole at least is clear so that the pressures inside the manifold are able to at least get to the sensor. Um, because if that's blocked up, obviously it can't read anything. So you can see there now that all that gunk has gone out of there. And we're ready to clean our sensor. So this is what the sensor looks like when it's clean. I just used some um, airflow meter cleaner on this. I forget that is probably about the safest stuff to clean it with. And you can see all that gunk out of there that was all completely blocked up before. So it couldn't read anything at all. And with that done, we are now, now able to clear the codes. Okay, so the one thing with this particular case is that it did actually need a new sensor. As I said, that top code with the low sensor input was a concern. Um, and it did need a new sensor, which Ford actually kept in stock because this is such a common problem. Um, so don't bother with aftermarket, just go straight to them. Nice and easy. Okay, hope this has helped you out today. Don't forget to click a like and click the subscribe and hit that bell for more great tips from Real Mechanics.